There's nothing quite like starting off the week with Floki and uh, especially probably one of his worst times getting a bath. Uh, this isn't something one does often with monkeys because uh, they have got like a natural oil in their coat which gives them a protective layer um, and does protect them from all kinds of things. But unfortunately with these guys they can't groom themselves properly and uh, they don't get out into the rain or anything like that. Every now and again they do need to get uh, a little bit cleaned up, um, especially the way Floki eats with his arms and everything in his bowl and stuff like this. He does need a wash now and again. So he's not the best uh, uh, monkey to try and bath, but uh, he lets you get the job done. A few bribes here and there, a little bit of a nip, and um, yeah, but uh, it gets done in the end of the day and at least he looks nice and clean and fluffy for a day or two. Okay, well done, boy. Good boy. And I've got some raisins for while he's being dried. Okay, there we go. We're gonna let go. We're gonna let go, folks. One. The other. Good boy. Oops. Snappers. <laughs> Snappers. Oh my darling. I know. I'm Arms so in. sorry. Arms I'm in. so sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, do you want to do his face? Yeah, I can do. Good boy. Him. You did such a good job though, you did much better than I thought. Mm. You're gonna be a clean boy now. You fluff ball! You're so lovely. Cuts. Mm. You a little wash down. Oh, gross. Bye. <laughs> Cozy is excited for her rice plate. Oh. Oops. So Floki gets his own little plate now because otherwise he screams at Cuddy, <laughs> which is quite loud. Um, and very unnecessary, isn't it, folks? So he gets his own little plate to appease him. Whereas Cuddy gets the full rice plate. Look, he cuts. As you can see, she loves her protein. Which is good, because... Both Cuddy and Floki could do with putting on some weight. <laughs> that was the old switcheroo to Floki's. And Floki's going to Cuddy's. And Floki's back to Floki's plate. <laughs> Sharing is caring, as they say. And Cuddy is back to Cuddy's plate. Loki enjoying his milk. I think he enjoys the company of having Cuddy in here as well. Cuddy being brain damaged. After being hit by a car when she was small, she likes to groom her teddies. Mm. 
most monkeys when they reach this age are usually scared of the teddy bears because um, of the eyes but the brain damaged ones just see them as another friend They're all uh, relaxing nicely here where uh, Waliichi gives her the once over um, to see if she can find any little mites or things like this. Um, you can see how relaxing this is for the little ones um, and how they actually enjoy it. It's like going somewhere for a lovely massage and just lying there. Somebody slowly rubs your back and everything in the nice uh, early morning sun. So uh, she's really enjoying this and a uh, very good way of, of bonding. She's spending a nice amount of time grooming Sarala today. It seems she's bonding quite well with both of them, which is really nice, both Sarala and Bo. Here we have little Bo pop in just to see uh, what he's missing out on. Um, I think he saw the food and was just inquisitive to come and see if there was any anything nice that they'd got extra that he didn't know about. Because uh, Bo uh, really does love his food, so uh, he's always checking out if there's a nice tasty morsel somewhere along the line that he can have. We've got Sarala on the very left, Lichi grooming Briani, who's the alpha female, and she just... <laughs> Put her arms around little Bo, giving him a big fluffy hug. So we just picked up some integration here at James Troop, um, just to let them meet the troop a little before we release them. And with them release the last babies of this baby season, finally. It's the end of July. <laughs> it should have been over a month ago, but we had so many babies coming in. And here Joe is just changing the water bowl. <laughs> Also fresh water because they pooped all over it. Thank you. Sarala so decided to join the party and sit next to everyone and Riani just took the chance to give her a groom. Now Bo would like some attention instead. Briani seems quite fond of Bo. And her also goes to Sarala. And now she's actually grooming Sarala. So very well. She's doing very well. Really good to have the alpha females so interested and friendly towards the babies. Oh, we're trying to play with Luna, but she's busy grooming Lichi and Sarala in the back on the left, looking for stuff to eat. 
who just went for a drink. So he's the only baby out of those two that drink milk. Sarala did not like it in whichever way we tried. But she's quite big anyways. So she doesn't depend on it too much. Lychee in the front. Sarala behind. And a bow and Brianna grooming bow. Lichi is patiently waiting for her time of grooming. Or maybe just stretching a little. <laughs> Sarala, Oscar and Bo. So she came in and was in love with the babies right away. She's been playing with Bo, grooming both of them. Making a very good big sister. If you remember, little Oscar came in uh, last year, also was suffering a, a little bit of uh, brain damage. Uh, was involved in that stoning when his mother got killed. Um, so uh, she's doing extremely well and uh, it's just amazing now that they helping looking after other ones and getting on with the other little ones um, and helping them get used to the enclosure and things like this. So it's fantastic how these guys get rehabbed, how they do recover from what they were and uh, start leading normal little monkey lives and can actually help and bond with each other. Sarala would rather stay in the warm. Bo and Oscar playing. Now Oscar is giving Lichi a groom and Sarala is doing what she likes best, <laughs> eating some leftover food. All enjoying the morning sun. Bo is currently not so keen on Briani's affections, just running away. There he goes. I think he's just feeling playful. He's just running away. And now wants to play with her. So Briani definitely loves Bo. She went inside and immediately just ran after him and wanted to cuddle him. So it seems Bo is gonna be our alpha baby. Now just grooming Lichi. And Sarala stopping by. She's looking for food and sunlight. Loves to sit in the sun and warm up. Lichi and Briani and go in the back and Sarala soaking up some sun. Bo is trying his very hardest to get some attention and have some play with him, but the females are very preoccupied. Briani, Lichi and Bo. to get some milk. He drinks a lot. He gets three bottles throughout the day and he finishes every one of them even though he only goes for a little bit at a time.
like, play with me, play with me. And Briani just wants to groom. <laughs> She's very patient with him now. Juno grooming Sarala. In the meantime, I've got lychee also grooming bow. Agitating her food. Charlotte and Bo. Well, they're all slowly forming that uh, much needed little family group and family bond. Because, uh, of course, the more used to they get e to each other, the better they'll look after each other once they go out into the enclosure. And then uh, they will be supporting each other if there's any problems or any trouble out there. Oh, Sarala, Charlotte, and Lichi. Luna, Lichi, and Bo. It's very playful, and Luna's very much loving the babies. So she comes in and is fully in grooming mode. She cuddles Bo, grooms Lichi. She's happy about the new family. So she's better than she was with Charlotte, bless her. Um, because Luna was a bit dodgy with Charlotte and chased her a lot. Um, it's just different. Even if it's a juvenile, it's different than to a baby. It's like more can be treated more like an adult because they're not a baby anymore they have to find their place in the hierarchy and if it's a new female in the hierarchy it's gonna be a low ranked one so Luna made sure of that for Charlotte now she's grooming Serana Emblem is also still around Zebulon is going back to Engelke Troop today, so we're going to put him in the intro cage with his mum uh, to improve, improve his mental well-being. Because obviously he doesn't love sick bay so much and being with people, which is good. Uh, so we're just doing some final checking, so we're going to weigh him now. Oh. He does not appreciate. Seems okay. so good. Six five seven six five. Yeah. Yeah. 
by Sebi then and now it's bath time. She probably will not appreciate very much either. <laughs> Resisting very much. Okay, we have a lot going on right now in Sigre. We have Dustin, that is Nuri Eddie Bachelor, that is going to go back with his Insta case. Yes, he's feeling much better. So here we have a strong Dustin moving Eddie. Here at the same moment, we are trying to grab Mila. Other footage going on. And at the same moment, we have here Jamie and Michaela that are giving a bath to little Zebulon because he's going to interact as well with his mom that is missing him so much. I was gonna add, and I'm cooking food. <laughs> He's being so good. Got scared by this monkey cage passing by. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So yes, volunteer Michaela. Going to take Zebulon. Thank you. <laughs> he is screaming quite a lot, so we've got a stick to deter any bandits that might want to come rescue him. Okay, we've got an audience. They're very angry at us, very protective. You give us back our baby. You can open up. Okay. Now the difficult part is going to be opening that door and letting the right mum in <laughs> without letting Zebulon out. Got Lexi outside, it's very very upset. She's a very high-ranked female who's very often with Zebulon. Clearly he's loved by the whole troop. Okay. So Whisper and Momo just left. Whisper is actually not usually one we would let in because she's very high-ranked and quite dominant. Um, but. I know that Zebulon is always hanging around or did always hang around the high rankers in the troop so it's a bit different than when putting a new new baby in for foster mom. <clears throat> We're still waiting for Oprah which would be the ideal one but I haven't seen her yet. Of course, it's quite difficult. He has to actually move away from the door <laughs> for me to let anyone in. And he has to be quite far away um, because they can suddenly just fly. And we don't want him outside fully in the troop yet. He's already starting to eat, so he's picked up some very old looking sweet potato piece. Uh, he's just munching on it, so that's a good sign because that's the main concern for us, that he is eating well and hopefully he'll drink milk and we just want him to gain some more weight. Sebulon on the right and then Oprah is on the very left. She just came in and gave him a good sniff. She's his original foster mom. And then Maggie is still in the back eating. And Momo. Oh, 
Oprah, Sabilon, Momo, and Maggie. And lots of observers in the back. Everyone's very curious. Now probably also in the food bowl, not just Sabilon. <laughs> Finally starting to relax a little bit. He's just been screaming. In the front is Momo, also his friend, but they don't seem to care about each other so much right now. You can see really how tiny little Zebulon is compared to the adult. Oprah grooming Zebulon. Side, we've got Natsuki getting a little room from Howie. So nice to see her outside now and staying outside. Momo and Maggie. Well, I hope you all enjoyed uh, the first part of this episode. Look out for the second part coming out on Saturday afternoon. And uh, thanks everybody for your contributions, for your donations, for donating via PayPal, sharing, watching the adverts. Really does make a difference to these little monkeys' lives. We really do appreciate your help and being part of our family. Uh, see you in the next episode.